Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to develop a mathematical model using Desmos. So pretty much what are we going to do is we are given the data that we have here and we're supposed to determine what equation would work for this uh, data here. So pretty much it's, it's an approximate equation that would work for this. It's not a perfect equation, but it's going to be close to that actual uh, data that we have here, or it's, it's an approximate. So the data below shows the coronavirus cases in the USA for the month of March. So this was taken from Wikipedia. So March 4 all the way to 31st. So this we will take this as the X for the dates will be the X and then um, the cases would be uh, the Y. So pretty much we need to determine what equation would work for this um, what mathematical model would work for this data that we have here. Let's type these values into Desmos. So this is how we develop a mathematical model using Desmos. Before we jump into putting numbers into Desmos here, let's adjust the screen first so that we can go ahead and see the, uh, the actual graph. So as you can see from the previous slide, the X value, which is the uh, date in March, is all the way up to 31. So I can go ahead and change the... Um, window for this so the x that we're gonna have could be like from negative 5 all the way to since that was 31 i'll just go ahead and have this all the way to 50. so again this depends on the uh, problem how you set up the x-axis but that's how, that's where you go you go to this uh wrench right here and then you go to this uh to the to the x-axis and you can change it and then for the y-axis as you can see the smallest value was 26 um, in the 4th of March and then the highest value is 25,305 so then we can go ahead and adjust this so I can just go ahead and say um, that's negative 2,000 for the um, for the bottom and then I go ahead and change the positive value on the y-axis all the way to 40,000 so as you can see uh, we, we can already better see the uh, the setup here once we put in the da uh, data. So then I go, this is what we do. So then we go ahead and hit the plus here and then we uh, choose the table and then we type everything in. So for the X would be the date in March and for the Y here would be the number of cases. So all we need to do is to type in the values. So what are we going to do now is we will determine what mathematical model would fit this or what graph would fit this. So let's start with a line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this down here and then the equation for a line would be y sub 1. So you always put a, a subscript of 1 to it and then we are going to hit the tilde. So we're trying to determine the approximate e value of the, uh, of the parameters. So that's y sub 1. That's going to be m x sub 1. So whenever you have y and x, you always need to put 1 next to the subscript of 1. So that's y sub 1, um, approximately m x sub 1 plus b. So pretty much originally the equation of a line is y equals m x plus b. But since we're, t uh, we're telling decimals to approximate this uh, graph, so I wrote here y sub 1 is, uh, I wrote the tilde symbol right there, mx sub 1 plus b. So then we go ahead and look at the graph here. So if we look at the graph, uh, the graph doesn't really make sense because um, it, it, the cases did not start on the negative value. So pretty much this is not a good um, 
model that would fit this graph. And at the same time, it doesn't really fit because the graph was like a little curvy right here and it's a straight line. So a line is not a fit to this um, problem. Now let's try a quadratic. So let's take the quadratic right here. So uh, for the quadratic equation, we can go ahead and write the general equation for a quadratic function. That would be y sub 1. And then we are going to hit the tilde. Again, we can go to uh, ABC, the letters, and then it can hit the tilde right here. So uh, that is AX sub 1 squared plus B x sub 1 plus c. So this is the, uh, uh, let's see if this model would fit this graph. So pretty much like there, we cannot explain why is there a negative case for these uh, right here. So it, this one doesn't really fit. Although it fits somewhere around here, it fits exactly, but then we can't explain that it went negative. It means that on the ninth day or the Ninth, that's a negative 562. That means that we can't explain that. There was no, there were no negative cases. So the, the cases are all positive. So quadratic uh, model would not fit this graph. Now let's try exponential. So the equation for exponential would be uh, y, and then y sub one, and then we go to the tilde symbol right here, and then we go a b to the power x sub one. And then let's see if this graph would fit. So pretty much this graph fits better than the rest of the graph. Um, although it's not really a perfect uh, graph, but this is way better than the other uh, model. So then we can go ahead and um, say that the, we can use the exponential equation or exponential function to model this uh, coronavirus cases in the US. So then we go ahead and determine the cases for April 1. So please remember that this is the case for um, 31st. So that's March 31st. So that means April 1st would actually be 32. So we go ahead and trace the graph on 32. So we go ahead all the way to 32. So on April 1st, there's 31,260 cases because we can round that off. So 32 represents April 1st because March 31 was uh, down below. So uh, April 1 is uh, 32. Then April 2 would be 33. So again, we trace, uh, the, uh, uh, trace the graph all the way to 33. So when X is 33, there are 36,111 cases. Now let's have April 5. April 5 can be represented as 36. So we go all the way to 36. And so the number of cases on April 5, which is represented as 36, is 55,666 cases. So the coronavirus cases in the United States can be mathematically modeled using the exponential uh, function and so from here we can go ahead and write the equation that models this uh, problem as y is equal to 309.14 parentheses 1.15518 parentheses exponent x Based on the models that we tried we did linear it did not work we did um, Quadratic, it did not work, but the exponential worked. And so, um, again, the equation for the exponential that we used was y equals a b to the power x, where our a and b values that we got were actually uh, y equals, the a was 309.14. Again, I got this from uh, Desmos. And then the b value that we got was 1.15518 and that's to the power x and this is the equation that works for the uh, data that we have on the first slide now we were supposed we actually got the values for uh cases for april first so it was actually um 
this was represented as um, 32 on the graph. So the value for this was 31,260. So that's the cases. In April 2, we represented this. Again, this was represented as 32. And then this one was represented as 33. So then we go ahead and uh, we, we were able to figure out that um, there were um, 36,111 cases if the X was 33. And then for April 5, so 33, so April 3, 4, so that's going to be 34, 35, 36. So April 5 is represented as 36. And so the value on that um, X, the value of Y on that X, which is 36, is 55,666 cases. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!